Mm -mm. Here we are, April 1st, 2022. Thought March would never end. But anyways, here we are, April 1st. I'm going to show you how to make a bearing last forever. This is a used bearing, but it's a very good bearing because you can see right there it says Made in USA, and it's got a name on it, Norma. It's not just some fly-by-night Chinese bearing. Okay, now you can see this bearing works. It's good. It's smooth. It seems pretty nice, but see how it spins? That tells me there's no grease in here. Now, the problem with this bearing is, you see those steel caps on there? You can't pry those out of there. They're pressed in. They're stamped in there somehow. But, uh, it needs grease. So, let's take and measure. I'm going to do this all scientific here. Got a uh, scale thing here. And dump that on there. 40.9 grams. I already knew that because I weighed it before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this seal mealer bag, which I have uh, prepared. And I'm going to take one of these ordinary, uh, this is a vacuum sealer brand, I guess. I don't know. It's a vacuum sealer, whatever. So we're going to put some grease in here. We're going to put that bearing in there. We're going to see if we can inject or vacuum uh, grease into that. All right. So now I have my, let me just mute. All right, cut down some of that background noise. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I got a bunch of grease in there, got my bearing in there, squish that all around the edges and everything. All right, now I'm going to pulse this, and oh, that's the other thing. This thing does not want to work sometimes. All right, it's drawn down. Good, good, good. All right, now I'm going to keep an eye on here. I'm going to see if I see any air coming out of this, and I hope to. Hope this doesn't get too much grease into my sealer. Come on, baby. Well, it could be leaking out in there somewhere. It might be coming out where I can't see it. Well, we've got to measure. We got to wait on it. So we're gonna. Seal that down there as good as we can. Now the grease won't compress or expand, but the air will. So the air should expand and blow up out of there. I'm gonna really. blast that down there. I should probably go ahead and seal it and leave it in there for a few minutes and try to work the grease around. Maybe even warm it. Ugh, maybe I could have done this with a hot bearing, heat the bearing up, and then put it in there so the, well, the liquid, uh, the grease shouldn't be... The viscosity of the grease shouldn't change much until it gets like really super high temperature, so that probably, well. All right, now I'm going to seal it. Come on, seal. Okay, it's sealing like this. There we go. And with this particular model, you want to hit the stop button hit seal again hopefully it'll seal again hit stop then hit seal again you want to double seal this thing this thing was defective it had a ground screw or a ground wire that had a loose screw on it so it didn't want to work anyways so all right so that's sealed now let me take that out of there all right so I took that out of there I'm not seeing any air bubbles in there, so it may... Oh, wait, there is one... There's a little air bubble in there. A couple little air bubbles. I'm going to squish this thing around for a minute. All right, I squished this around and around and around, and you can see there's an air bubble in the middle of there now. And what you got to do is you got to kind of push the grease up and get it packed on top of there, then hold your thumb in there and then squish down... And I could, I could see a couple bubbles coming out, and I felt a couple little pops when I was doing that. So I'm, 
I'm thinking I got some grease in there. So I'm going to do that a little bit more, see if I can squish them. Because basically, any grease that you get into this thing has got to go into that little crack right there to get in there. That doesn't mean it won't go. It just, you know, there's no stronger pressure than a vacuum. Really. Or the opposite of the vacuum. But yeah, I'm squishing on it, and it seems like there's more bubbles in there now. So I'll take this out, clean it up, weigh it, see what we got. All right, I think I figured out how you got to do this. You got to get as much grease as you can on one side. You got to squish it all up and get it on one side of the bearing. And then you got to put your finger in the hole of the bearing on the inside. And then you got to, with your other hand, you got to grab the outside of the bag. And then you got to smush that down. And what that's going to do is it's going to push everything into that center little crack around there and out the top. So I am pretty sure I've got more grease in there than was in there before. I'm going to do that one more time. Then I'm going to weigh it. All right, the moment of truth. Let's get this thing turned on here. I already know there's more grease in here because I do the spin test. It turns. See, there's a little resistance in there now. It does not spin like it did. So I already know there's more grease in here. Let's see how much. It was 40.9. Put that on there. 42.9. Wow, two grams of grease I got in there. Two grams. Now that's in a used, sealed, quote unquote, unserviceable bearing. You can't get grease in there, they say. And if you try to pry those caps off, you're going to ruin it. But there you go. Seal a mealer. And about 15 minutes of your time, you can get two grams of grease in there. Cut.